sent me a message about this apartment? I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Haley wanted us to settle down there. Thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. It's too generous. Besides, you'll be back here once the war's over. I doubt it. Even assuming we survive this, it'll take years to rebuild things here. Please, Commander. Don't make me beg. All right. Consider it done. I appreciate it. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay. Good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. The Nomad? A brand new ship. My ship. You don't forget that moment. The first time you're standing there. Received a new message. The whole crew looking to you for direction. Seen a lot of combat already. Always managed to find my way home in one piece. Do that a few times, you begin to think you know better than the next guy. Maybe you do, I don't know. But if you're lucky, really lucky, you find yourself on a good ship, in front of a good crew. A crew you can trust with your life. Gifted. Disciplined. Brave. All of them. Eager to set sail into the endless black ocean. I still remember my exo asking what my orders were. Shepard, I said, let's see what we can find.
human imagination rising to meet our desires. We pay a price for that curiosity, that drive. Our relationships suffer. People we love suffer. But that's reality. And it's worth the cost. I must have thought it was. I guess I still do. In the end, you just have to hope you've made the right choices. Embarrassing moment? I've got more of those than anyone will ever know. Only way to learn something. But if I had to pick one to share... I had just gotten promoted to N7. Full of myself. King of the castle. Found myself buying drinks for undesirables in some rundown bar in the wards. They... toasted my recent promotion. Hell, they would have toasted Batarian slavers if it had got them more drinks. About the time my money ran out, my new friends turned on me. I was outnumbered. Things didn't look good. My plan to get out of there involved lots of punching. Well, that worked for a while. Then a table hit me. Or I fell down. When I came to, I saw a Salarian putting the rest of the troublemakers down. A Salarian? Moved like a damn cat, I swear. When everybody was out cold, or running. He walked over and helped me up. N7, he asked. Yes, sir, I replied. He looked over my collection of unconscious friends, nodding. Not bad, human, he said. And he walked away. I had met my first specter. Learned an important lesson that day. No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody quicker, faster. And a hell of a lot smarter than you, just around the corner. That little lesson's kept me alive... ...more than once since then.
me to talk about the SSV Normandy, the Normandy SR-1. As commander of the Tokyo, I was consulted on the Normandy's design and on board for her initial training exercises. The average person probably doesn't know that the Normandy was a joint project with the Torians. Acting CEO Eli Zander was no diplomat. She ran out of patience with Torian posturing and politicking during construction. The chief architect of the Drive Corps, Octavio Tatum, and his team of Torian engineers were in the CIC for final training exercises. Tempers flared when Xander pushed the limits of the stealth system, waiting to vent the IES well past what Tatum was comfortable with. I tried to calm the situation, but it still ended with the Torian scientist in shackles and a human Torian fistfight at Cora's den later. Tony now. First laid eyes on the Normandy. She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Day after that training run, Admiral Wright found me on the bridge. She's yours, he said. Can't trust her to Xander. Send me a list of crew from the Tokyo you'd like, and prep for your first mission. Short command, thanks to Sarah. Still, one of the highlights of a long career.
talking about? Early days, right? People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's... never the whole truth. It's a hundred little things that add up to commitment. I joined because of a dog. Yeah. A dog. This patchy, mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school. He'd snarl and I'd start running. Get the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. Why'd I join the military? Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. No, no, it's fine. I got a few minutes. First contact war? Yeah. I was there. My first real combat. First for a lot of us. I remember one night early in the war. Trapped in my seat as our transport approached the LZ. Everyone was dead silent. Just the sound of breathing. Good men. I trained with all of them. We were always joking and horsing around, but not this time. Just the rattle of the shuttle. And that heavy breathing. Everyone was thinking the same thing. We're off to fight alien invaders. Aliens. Think about that. We all grew up wondering what was out there, if we were alone in the universe. Now we knew we weren't alone, and we were in trouble. So there we were, about to face an enemy as different and unknown as we could imagine. I knew I had to say something, keep the men relaxed. So I turned to the soldier beside me, Hendrix, I think, and asked him how his mother was doing. Fine, he said. Why? Because I heard your mama so ugly, the Marines thought she was a Torian. Almost shot her. <laughs> I got a few smiles. Then Hendrix turned to me and said, Hell, Anderson, I heard it was a picture of your mama that started this goddamn war in the first place. Scared the Torian shitless. Everyone had a good laugh at that. And the boys fought great that night. Sometimes that's all it takes. A joke, a pat on the back. Just a little reminder that everything's gonna be okay. Experience changes them. 
others with all the gifts and abilities fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few, none of which I'd like to share. But I, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean, do you follow your heart over your mind? <sighs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is... War isn't mortally. And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances, and there's more than I'd like to admit, your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader, well, war tends to make examples of them. What makes a good leader, then? Hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. had some rough patches. Who of us hasn't? He's been forced to fight a lot of battles alone. God only knows how he got out of some of that. Makes your head spin. Thing is, you never heard a complaint. Never once got, no sir, I can't do that. He never hesitated. Few people know what Shepard's been through. I'd like to think I come pretty close. And I worry sometimes he forgets. There's a whole bunch of people who lose sleep over him getting back home. Maybe it doesn't need to be said. Maybe we're too dumb to say it. Soldiers like the Commander are rare. Men like Shepard? Even more rare.
Commander Shepard. Ils ont tape les oreilles. Gentlemen, care for a drink. Maybe later. I'm meeting a friend. Very good. Enjoy your evening. Hey, Shepard. Not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious. Like, French guy at the door serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? Here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Oh, uh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers are poking around at my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Hackett's orders. They're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email. I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me. Sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance. Excuse me. Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think he's aware of that. <sighs> no, I, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people. New people. They're... It's... <sighs> Someone is hacking your account. Comm channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess, without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant. Which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Stay there. I'm coming. Joker? Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir! Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Brooks, stay down. Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know! I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. Brooks. I see some sky cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no. Food, no. Laundry. Ah! Oh, it's a sky car lot. Cision Motors. Citizen. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice.
Brooks, found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the, uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override. CSEC has issued a complete lockdown in the lower wards in response to an attack by an unidentified organization. No details are yet known on this alleged terrorist attack. It's all under control. They sent some kind of alarm. What's going on? Thought I'd make things more interesting. Of course you did. Shepard, Brooks sent me to Nathan Wing for the Skycar lot. I'll meet you there. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns that don't like me. Hey, they called me.
targeting. Drone in play! Got him! Commander, there's a C-sectional inbound if you can get to the sky car lot. Understood. Having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. Just following the gunfire. 
Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it's a huge risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, gunfire means something serious is going on. Can you keep it together long enough for us to figure this out? They said the Medigel might make me jumpy. Also, the fact that I work a desk job and have never been shot before. How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay. Let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try, but I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the armor's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you could eat there? Not the point, Shepard. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it's a long story, man. Anyway... Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? I'm glad you made it out of that ambush okay. None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well.
So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window.
Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be late to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Con out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise on. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever opened fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast fare and leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? 
We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Keep dressing like that, and you'll have to catch me when I swoon. I might do more than catch you. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresher Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Liara. Time to meet the Riff Raff. Hi, Elspeth Moraine. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Use this. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it.
this place is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. This could take a while. Tonight it's ring call on the road. That stuff can put you down for the camp. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. are complimentary tonight, sir. What are you having? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Thessian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari, they kick like a shotgun. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. I heard your advice is so good at psychic. So Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games biotically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turn pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay.
I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. The camera saw me. Come on, Tiger Bite! Bring it home! You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at his shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. What are the odds on? Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. Working the crowd upstairs. Just a second, ma'am. I'll contact the surveillance desk. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Olsen. Hey, Commander. What? What happened? to do three different things here. Barrows? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You. Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Bypass the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. 
Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. I can distract him. Tell me when. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky. Just so you know. I have a little faith. Greetings from the consort Shaira. She instructed me to schedule a session with you. Free of charge. That's... Very kind, miss. But we have to clear all our, um, gifts with the man around. Good night, now. Con, you and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh. So we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. Heal. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy to trash talk me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. You can't even attend a party without someone ending up dead. Now, if I can just find some chow around here... You'd think a pad like this would be stopped. I could go for some food while we wait. Too bad you shot the hell out of the best sushi place in the Citadel, huh? I look pretty damn good in a fancy dress, Commander. I'm gonna need an occasion to wear it. I'll see what I can do. Brooks and Edie can find something on the drive. Same here. A glamorous mission, but not our most successful. The next time we have a date, perhaps we should just stay in. Greetings, Commander. The casino will be hosting. Sounds like the mission ended with a hiccup. Well, I'm just glad our team made it back okay. Any life or death encounters with fish aquariums this time? No. 
Too bad. I can hear Vega's stomach rumbling from here. What's the matter, Shepard? Didn't want me as your date? <laughs> Too much Krogan for you to handle? A lot of people have that problem. Most of them are dead. <laughs> Commander, instead of infiltrating the casino using a disguise, it would have been better to hold all the primitives hostage, threaten them with death, and shoot them until they gave you what you wanted. Next time, I will gladly assist. proximity was not necessary to the success of the mission, Shepard. Let's see what you find before we call it a win. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still. We found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks the chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. But how come everyone's always shooting at us? I think it's mostly you, Rex. The bigger the target, the bigger the... uh... target. You're saying I've gained weight? It just means there's more of the legend to love. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you? They bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max? What do they need that kind of firepower for? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush-hush. Even my old CSEC clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's... Eh. What's with the Volas? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah. But, uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill?
best way into the ark. The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. But don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with a sorry. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! This won't end well for her. You bastard. All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run. Nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Uh huh. So that's how it's gonna be. Who are you? You aren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone. Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me, I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why have you been trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Talizor of Ast Normandy. I'm not sure whether to kill you with a bullet, or just take off your helmet. You're just a cheap imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfect. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're Shepard. They will when I'm flying a ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get on the way. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today.
still got everyone? Where's everyone else? Where do you think you're going, princess? Pushing into the archives. Stay in your groups. Team Mako, you're on point. Right. What's a Mako? Something we could use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank. Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. At this point, anything's possible. Like waking up and finding out you have a clone? I don't want to talk about it. Right. At least not till we've all had a drink. How are we gonna find anything in this place? Blip. Yes, Commander? Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? He looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Blip. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Searching for something 200 meters ahead. Your own clone is crazy, even for us. 
Useful, though. Anything you don't want to do, Shepard? Let them handle it. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Right. Don't let your clone do it. shoot something once when you can shoot it 46 more times the other me can't be far keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him let's move the history stores here it must go back thousands of years i just wonder what the other me is looking for in here wonder what the other me is looking for in here. Intruders have been detected. 
Year 700 CE. Krogan Rebellions attack on Council, Vault K-306. This is the only visual record of Krogan Overlord Kredak's attack on the Council. Audio follows. I've heard enough. If the Krogan hadn't taken on the Rackpie, you would all be at their mercy. You won't give us what we deserve, and so you force us to take it. We will never leave the planet of Lucia, no matter how much the Asari cry. Ambassador Credit, you only weaken your case with a show of violence. Wrong, Solarian. Now our case is finally strong. Negotiations are over! <sighs> Keep pushing ahead. This termination action is unlawful. Why do you continue when our appeal has not yet been heard? Keep quiet. You know that the council will never overturn its own edict. Standing by for your go, sir. Do not terminate us. Go. Commander, I 
have cataloged 18 previously unknown historical events. Where's the target, Blit? He is searching for a secret vault. He did not wish to be disturbed. What? I thought he was you. <sighs> Go find him again. Stupid machine. Tratika is so much better at this. contingent of soldiers calling themselves Razor Squad is just ahead. They wish to inflict bodily harm on you. Also, I discovered an L4 mating totem in Vault 347B. Fascinating. Team Mako here, showing Team Hammerhead how it's done. Hammerhead here. You guys are just copying us. <laughs> Pushing ahead. Commander, the other you wishes to pass on a message. Shepard, save yourself the trouble. Once I have what I came here for, you won't matter anymore. Now go, Drake. 
drone. Deliver it. Your 710 CE, Krogan Genophage. Deployment, Vault T101. We have our orders. Release of the Genophage against the Krogan has been authorized. Not by my government. Your government invented it. What good is a weapon if you don't use it? Sergeant Tavis, restrain him. Are we sure of our orders, sir? This is genocide. Sergeant Out, restrain them both. I'll press the button myself. One day, Solarian, you will thank us. Dispersal commencing. survive? Probably. You're being released. The Council wants you to implement a new special tactics and reconnaissance group. Desk job? No, thank you. This is no desk job. Spectres will be the best of the best. They will operate with impunity and answer only to the Council. You will be the first. Now that sounds like the best job offer in the galaxy. Count me in. I would like to have discussed the Elcor mating totem with them. Team Hammerhead, we're headed to the next level. What's your location? Hammerhead, do you copy? Observations suggest that their role seems to be that of some sort of guardian. We will begin our exploration. Attention, all personnel. Emergency lockdown initiated. 
Team Mako, we're coming up behind. What's your status? Mako, where are you? Year 2183 CE. First human specter deliberations. Vault SH-1. Commander Shepard's recent accomplishments are not in question. It's his background that the Council has no knowledge of. Shepard was born on Earth and orphaned at an early age. He managed to survive on the streets until he was able to enlist at 18. Anything from Shepard's military record that you'd like to call out? Early in his career, Shepard alone survived a Thresher Ma attack that took down his entire unit. That's the kind of strength, the kind of grit he has. Thank you for your presentation, and to all who spoke. The Council will render their decision on the suitability of Commander Shepard as Spectre within the day. Commander, do you copy? What's your status? The other you is jamming our radios. Hammerhead and Mako are trying to get ahead and cut him off. But I've been hit and need help. Please, hurry. Sealed us in. Is there an override? None that I can see. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in iridium vaults and forgotten for, well, forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work with them. What was the point of it all? All we really wanted was your Spectre Code. I got Shepard. Spectre access accepted. But then you survived the hit and insisted on bringing your damned Asari into it. So I had to tie up loose ends. The arms deal. Elijah, it's me. We need to talk. What the hell's going on? I swear if those guns get tracked back to me... They won't. But then your sex bot just had to go and recover the data. So here we are. Forced to contain the situation. Who the hell are you? And do you really think I won't track you down? My name doesn't matter. I never keep the same one for more than a few days. And if the elusive man hasn't found me yet, you never will. Your Cerberus? Was. Mr. Elusive and I didn't see eye to eye. He's indoctrinated. Whereas I prefer the whispers in my head to be my own. Why not come to me? We could have worked together. In a way, we did. I'm the one who put together all those dossiers on your suicide mission. The Collector Base? There was the Salarian Doctor, the Asari Justicar, the Quarian. <laughs> nice to have finally met you, Tali. Charmed. They were all mistakes. We were a pro-human group who started looking to aliens for help. So I bided my time. And when I found another you who agreed, I woke him up. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount his head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both of your heads and space them out the airlock. I'll help. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. 
What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. I don't care what species they are. Every life counts. But maybe a clone wouldn't understand that. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it a shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? As long as I've known you, yeah. Shouldn't we be worrying about the impregnable vault we've been sealed inside forever? How come nobody told me this before? I'm open to feedback here. Well, I thought all humans said it, like some weird Earth custom or something. There's probably not much air in here either. For the three of us, maybe an hour? Take shallow breaths. Maybe it's I should go. I should go. I should go. Shepard, please. Why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. seem to get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise.
This is why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. What happens if we lose the Normandy? Couldn't we go to the Council and prove who you are? <sighs> no, he hacked the biometric logs. Any scan we try will show him as the real Shepard. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? Don't worry. You'll get your ship back. We'd better. I just got the seat broken in how I like it. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others. ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. I was really hoping we'd get to shoot something. Checks. They just gun the engine and go? Your engineers keep the Normandy in fine condition. Most of the checks are unnecessary. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, sir.
this far just to watch the Normandy leave. And I don't even... Wait. What? You were just on the Normandy. You... you fired me! Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming! You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. That's Decision Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect Field to break up plaque and massage the gums. Yes, I told you that. And I remember, because I'm the real Shepard. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... It was a clone. Sort of a long story. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. The Normandy's about to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? I could try a biotic field, but I don't think I have the fine control required to trigger it. If you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Slow him down. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. All right. Shepard. Later. Remind me later. They size this place for our keepers. Quiet. Can't risk them hearing us up top. Sorry. Shops, as I recall. But only if they're planned. E. 
This is the real Shepard. I need you to lock down the Normandy. Can you help us out? Edie, do you copy? They must have taken her offline. Let's get to the cargo bay. This is from my cabin. He's moving stuff out of my cabin. Oh, now it's personal. So, anyone want to talk about their people's history? No. So I'm the only one who misses when we used to chat in the elevators back on the Citadel? Yes. So disappointed. Shooting up my ship? It's not your ship. It will be. I've taken your name, your Spectre rank, even your fingerprints. And then you left me to die. Only I didn't. You think fake fingerprints are gonna fool the Council? Or hack it? How's that big plan looking now?
Eli, jump to FTL. We can't. A sky car keeps blocking our path. Then shoot it! That makes us a perfect target. No, that makes us the bait. Do you want me to drive? No. Damn it. Launch the shuttle and blow that thing out of the sky. Me. You're nothing but one more mercenary thug. Take my hand. And then? And then you live. For what? Fortunately, they weren't here long enough to do much real damage. Although I may need some help from James cleaning up the damage to the shuttle bay. Plus they overloaded the heat diffusion system firing at us. Not sure if you noticed, but shuttle guy here did some crazy stunt flying to keep us in one piece. That's nice to fly something a little more maneuverable than the Kodiak. What about Edie? Is she back online? I am once again fully in control of the Normandy. 
Glad to hear it. What about the Mercs? Any survivors? Just one crappy-ass pilot and her. Alliance has taken her to a high-security facility. Maybe she can give them some dirt on Cerberus. I'll be more than happy to cooperate with the authorities. Maya, I know that voice. Do you really? You're getting a chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. So serious. Admit it. Some part of you liked having me around. Looking up to the legend? We had some laughs. And who knows? Maybe we'll have more someday. No, we won't. Because you're gonna stay in your cell and do your time. Afraid I'll escape, come back for revenge? Is the great Commander Shepard pleading for his life? I'm pleading for yours. So thoughtful. <sighs> then I suppose I'm off to lock up. You know, he wouldn't have let me live. You can't clone everything. I'm sorry we didn't shoot her. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Maybe we can take some actual time. No explosions or anything. Just us. I'll believe it when I see it. But it's worth a shot. So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Thanks to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... Fine. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself.
Commander, if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the Strip first. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Thank you. 